Today I'm going to show you how you can effectively use Kittle's AI-powered vector art tools to maximize your graphic design potential by using AI in Kittle to produce some images. Also, I want to quickly mention this video is sponsored by Kittle and there's a link in the description if you want to check it out. Now, in order to create a vector, there's a whole bunch of different options we're going to cover. But if I simply want to create a vector graphic, all I need to do is come down to this little star emblem here in my new project and it says Kittle AI. I click on that and I get three options. I have the image generator, a sets generator, and a design generator. Now the design generator does produce some vector elements, but we're really focused on the image generator here. If I click on that, straight away it has landed on vector styles here, but I'll just scroll back up to the top. And essentially I can type in a prompt, like any image generator, I type in a funky skull with sunglasses. I can choose my aspect ratio to create the image with. I have some save styles and a whole bunch of different styles here for images. Now these image styles here or pattern styles and clip art styles are all bitmap styles. If I use them, it will generate a bitmap file that is not a vector graphic. However, I'm gonna to touch on this a little bit later. But if we come down to vector styles, we can generate a vector graphic straight off the bat. So if I click on this arrow, I can scroll through or I can click show all to bring up the different vector styles. We've got nine different styles here at the time of recording this video. I'm gonna choose vector art to get started and click generate image to create my vector graphic. And straight away it's produced this image. Now if I zoom right in, you can already see there's been no change in quality. I can scale this to any size and print it without the edges getting fuzzy. I'll zoom in even more. You can see here how close I am and the edge is still crisp. So I zoom back out. This is proof that we're dealing with a vector image here. And what's also cool is this is just the vector art style. If I come back to these styles here, I can use any of these styles to get something a little bit different. And if I use the same prompt, this is what I get. So with our vector styles, you can see here what we've been able to create using vector art, but also something a little more detailed, but still a nice clean vector is vintage drawing. But if you're looking for something much simpler, you can move over to line art to get a result like this, or even go across to coloring book if you want to create a coloring book style image. But there's also things like cartoon, which also gets a nice effect, silhouette for a really nice solid black and white appearance, or emblem. This is great for logo designs, getting started with any kind of emblem or branding. But there's also anime vector, which is really cool, which means you can create anime style images as vectors. And finally, street art for that nice, cool graffiti look, if that's something that you're interested in. But coming back to my graphic, if I click on it, I get some options over here. Now, the vector AI image generator, it works with just one color. I do have a solution for multicolor images later, which we're gonna cover. But if I hover over illustration colors, I can click on this and basically choose whatever color I wanna use. So if I want this bright purple, I can use that on the image. I also have some other options like opacity, I can add a border if I want to, and even change the color of that border. I can get some pretty nifty effects with that, and I can also add a drop shadow. And you've got some basic effects here to sort of dress up that vector if we want to. But essentially we're gonna stick with the basic single color here, because I can use this graphic in a design, or I can just simply export it and use it as is. But what's really cool, if I zoom out a little bit again, I move this graphic off the, off the artboard, this time I come down to Kittle AI, I head back and I move to design generator. I can actually come up with a full design. So if I type in here, I've typed in a funky skull with sunglasses, retro 1980s t-shirt design layer. I can click this to come up with something completely random, but I wanna stick with this here. And I can also pick a format that suits the type of design I'm after. I click on this one. Generate design. You see, it gives me four different designs to choose from. So if I choose this funky looking design here, and we get this design with some vector graphics in it. Sometimes you do get bitmaps in the design, but this is a vector illustration and I can change the colors here. We've got multiple colors in this illustration. I can click on the gray and make that red or maybe even a really light lime green. The next lighter gray could be that purple we were looking at before. And I can basically go through and edit the various colors of this design. Then naturally, because we are working with text, all the text, just like any other 
editing program is generally a vector image as well. So I can change the colors on that as well and basically dress up this design. I'm gonna hold down shift just like both of these, click on the color, I can grab my picker tool, choose this color, and I can edit the design or even replace this graphic if I want to. So straight away you can see how using Kittle's vector AI tools can get you started really quickly and save you a ton of time when designing things like shirts, logos, or anything that requires vector graphics. However, what if we wanna create something that has multiple colors? Well, what I can do is I'm going to delete this graphic, move on over, and come back to our image generator. I hit back, back again, go to image generator. And this time I'm gonna generate a bitmap image. What we wanna do is we wanna pick a style that's gonna be have very flat, simple shapes and colors, no gradients, nothing too fancy, so that we can get something that is gonna be easily converted into a vector. I have image styles, pattern styles, clip art styles. The clip art styles are generally the safest. However, you can use any of these styles. I'm gonna give you a few tips later to dial things in. But if I go show all from clip art styles, choose something like mascot, I can add my mascot. I still have a funky skull with sunglasses. I can generate an image and you'll notice I get this graphic here, which looks very clean, has a few little bits and pieces in there, like some gradients, that kind of thing, but they're not really that noticeable. But if I click on this image, I get the option over here to use the image vectorizer. I click this downward arrow and I can convert it to a single color vector image if I really want to and kind of dial it back. So I will try that out. I click vectorize and it's turned into a nice single color graphic. But what we're looking for is a little bit more color. So I'm going to hit undo, image vectorizer, and bring those colors all the way up to 16 to try and maximize what we can get out of this image. I click vectorize image. And some areas are slightly simplified, but overall we've got the same effect. If I zoom in, you'll notice it gets a little fuzzy as we're zooming and then it clips and shows us that we have a nice crystal clean image. On screen, things can look a little fuzzy, but the quality is undeniable. It is a vector image suitable for print. So now we have a colored vector graphic that is AI generated, converted to a vector using AI, and we can come up and download this at any time, not as PNG or JPEG, which would convert it into a bitmap, although that would work if you scaled it up and made a high resolution bitmap. But if we wanna keep it as a vector file, we're gonna choose an SVG or a PDF. If I click PDF, I can combine these two upwards into one file, or I can download a zip file with two separate PDFs. I'm gonna just combine it for now, I'm gonna remove the background and make it transparent so I can import it into certain graphics if I want to. Click download and I open it up in Adobe Acrobat. Zoom in, my PDF is a nice crisp vector and I can basically use that on my designs or print out a sticker. I can use it however I see fit. But a few tips. One is if I come back into my AI image generator, under clip art styles, there are some suitable styles like Kuwait icon and I can find some other styles here, like cute under pattern styles. Some styles are gonna work really well as vectors straight off the bat, and you'll get some results like this. So obviously we have the mascot. We also have the Kuwait icon, but also under clip art styles, we have t-shirt graphic. Now this can get a little complex, but if I convert it into a vector, we still get a pretty solid result. And you can also get a pretty good result by using the cute pattern maker. Well, what I actually recommend is going back up to your prompt and adding in some phrases to give the AI a bit of a hint that you are looking for a vector style image. And a nice simple one that works very well is comma minimalist vector art. And again, if I go back down into my styles, I could pick a few different styles here. For example, I have chosen anime to get a pretty good result with that, which looks like a nice sticker, art deco, has created a nice flat vector style image. Psychedelic gives us a very cool result. And I've also tried digital art. But if I stick with digital art, we can also skew our results a little bit more to get a different format of vector artwork. And you can get as creative with these prompts as you like. But I have here, simple vector logo design to get this skull with funky sunglasses. Also a vector sticker design. It has created a shadow, but that's not a big deal. We can always remove the background on the bitmap before we convert it. We also have simple vector t-shirt design. And all of these can be converted to vector using the, the image vectorizer. Although the more complex the image, the more details you may lose. But overall, it does a pretty solid job of creating a scalable graphic.
But coming back to Kittle, I have this graphic we just created. And again, we have illustration colors, but this time we have more. And I can click on these and change them individually. And you can notice I'm changing on the image over here. But I also want to touch on something else. If I scroll down, you'll notice there are browse color palettes. If I click on that, I can scroll through and choose an existing color palette. And if I happen to use a brand kit or a color palette I've saved myself, I can reuse that color palette on these graphics. Cold Forest looks pretty good. I'll stick with that. And now we've been able to change the colors of our graphic to suit. So that is incredibly powerful. Cutting ahead, we also have this graphic here. And maybe I don't want a green background. Just remember we have all the same image editing tools before we convert it to vector. I can come up here. I can erase something if I want to. I can crop it. Or I can come down to the AI background remover, click on that, and I can remove the background from that image and then convert it into a vector. Crank those colors up, vectorize image. And now we have a vector image that we can edit colors to create something unique. But I'll go back to the previous colors because the final thing I wanna show you is of course, if you've created your vector graphic is now, of course we can download, which we've touched on, but we can also come here to mock up. I'm gonna choose our original image and I can place this on a t-shirt and create a mock-up. And if I have an existing design with text around it as well, I can do that. And I can choose all these different things like candle and pop it on there. And I can download a mock-up if I'm selling, say with print on demand, or even better, come back to the editor, go to print. This time I choose our skull design here. I can choose a shirt, a card, or a sticker. And I can produce a sticker with my graphic or even print onto a shirt or anything like that, all straight from Kittle, which can save you in your workflow. If you're creating stickers or shirts or something for clients, you can actually design it all in Kittle using AI, print it, have it sent to you, and it just makes the whole process so much simpler. So you can see how powerful Kittle's vector art AI tools are. You can use them and do a lot within Kittle itself, but you can also just simply download these vector images and even take them somewhere else if that's something you're inclined to do as well. You have endless possibilities here and the amount of time that you can save by using AI to generate these images is pretty impressive. And don't forget, you can upload your own images and convert them to vectors inside of Kittle as well. So that is the video for today, guys. I wanna thank Kittle for sponsoring the video. Don't forget to check them out using the link in the description below. Otherwise, if you have any more questions about Kittle or anything you'd like me to cover, let me know and we'll start working on a video. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.